breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Justice Unyako Okays, Kano's rendition from Kenya, says IPOB remains proscribed. Justice Unyako Okays, Kano's rendition from Kenya, says IPOB remains proscribed. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, Please stay tuned as I read to this news. Despite an appeal against the prescription order, a federal high court in Nabuja has ruled that the decree prohibiting the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, a pro Biafra organization, remains in effect. In a judgment on Kano's preliminary objection on Friday, Justice Binta Unyako wrote that while IPOB has appealed the order prohibiting it, the injunction would stay in effect until it is overturned. This case is currently on appeal. She stated, the injunction prohibiting the organization from operating will remain in effect until it is dismissed. In September 2017, a previous chief judge of the court, Justice Adamo Kafarati, now deceased, approved an ex parte plea by the federal government and labeled IPOB, an unlawful organization, in a judgment. In a separate judgment in January 2018, Justice Kafarati dismissed IPOB's request for a vacation of the prescription order. In a judgment on Friday, Justice Zunyako slammed Kanu's counsel Mike Ozekome's son for claiming that the IPOB leader was illegally deported from Kenya. Ozekome stated that Kano was kidnapped and sold into slavery in Nigeria in violation of existing human rights laws. Ozekome filed a 50 billion naira claim for Kano before the Federal High Court in Abuja on Thursday, based on a similar reasoning. Kano remains a fugitive, according to Justice Unyako's judgment on Friday, since he is wanted on a bench warrant. Rendition for the sake of criminal inquiry is permitted, she noted. In this situation, the defendant is wanted by the court on a bench warrant. Suffice it to say, he is a fugitive. The judge further held that, as against argument by the defense, a court is clothed by the requisite jurisdiction to try Kano for offense he allegedly committed outside the court. She struck out it from the 15 counts quoted in charge on Kano was standing trial. Justice Yago held that the affected counts do not disclose any offense against Kano. The judge said in this instant preliminary objection application. I have read the count and come to the conclusion that count 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 14 would not disclose any offense against the defendant. Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, and 15 show some allegations which the defendant has to answer. Count 1 to 3, 4, 5, 8, and 15 show some allegations which the defendant has to answer. The court shall proceed to try the defendant on those counts, she said.
the judge later attended argument on the bill application filed for Kanu by his lawyer. Ozekume. While arguing, the bill application contended that until a person is tried and convicted, he should be allowed to walk free. He argued that in view of the presumption of innocence, his client is innocent until the contrary is proved. Ozekome prayed the court to admit his client to bail and release him to his custody. Prosecuting lawyer Magaji Laberan urged the court to refuse bail to the defendant, noting that the IPOB leader Kanu had violated the earlier bill granted to him. Laberan said, My Lord granted him bill on 2017 on health ground, but since then, to date, no medical record was submitted to the court until it jumped bill. What we should be saying is contempt of court because he has flagrantly violated the orders of the court. He stressed that the court should be guided by its discretion, particularly the circumstances of the case. Laberan added that in the alternative, the court should order accelerated hearing in the case so that the defendant could know his fate one way or the other. Justice Winyako adjourned to May 18 for ruling on bill and May 26 for commencement of trial. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do draw by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.